Happy Friday, pipe smokers. Well, can't believe I haven't reviewed this yet. I know I talk about it right often, but um, it's one of my favorite tobaccos. I would say, I don't know. There's a lot of good tobaccos out there, but it's close to being in an all-time top 10 for me. I can smoke this all the time. And you've probably seen by the description, but we got a uh, Red Trace, Hollow the Wind. I got this cellar deep. I mean, I got the 100 gram tens. I got plenty of those other tens. I got some, the German ones, the ones from uh, Esteros, some from over here, you know. The, um, I, I doubt, I'm sure it's all the same tobacco, but it's pretty cool to get the German ones too because they have the different writing. Only thing that sucks is some of them, they have the little, which I think this was one of the German ones, I think. I can't remember. I don't know. But uh, it's basically a Virginia Perique with some Kentucky added. And um, in my opinion, if you guys have had the Old Gallery, it's like Old Gallery light, I would say. You know, it's not as strong. It's got a little bit less Kentucky and Perique, a little bit more Virginia. Um, that's why this to me could be an all day blend. Because it's, you know, it's pretty mild as far as strength goes to me. It's got plenty of flavor, plenty of sweetness. Um, just enough Kentucky and Perique to give it a little bit of depth, a little bit of spice, just a touch, touch of smokiness. I don't get a lot of Kentucky out of this, to be honest with you. It's definitely in there. It's definitely in there because. You can definitely feel it in the body of the smoke. Um, and you do get just a touch of that smokiness, barbecuiness to it. Not a lot. Um, Old Gallery, I think, has more perique in it, too, to be honest with you, because it is a little spicier than this. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm just comparing it to that because it's a Rattray's blend. Um, you know, it's, like I said, just definitely sweeter. This has a nice little mildly fruity, honey sweetness type of vibe to it. Um, not sure, doesn't say on here if they top it with anything. I think they may, like I said, it's got, tastes like it's maybe got a little bit of a, a honey type of vibe to it. Um, not real plummy on this one. It's more of a slightly floral, fruity type of vibe. Very, very good. But this, this is one of those smokes, um, and for to be a top ten smoke, I guess there's a lot of good tobaccos out there. It would have to be one to where, say, like there was no more tobaccos made, and I just had a boatload of this. I would happily smoke this. It's not a big deal. I mean, we're very spoiled here because we have so many choices. So I have so many different tobaccos. Um, I get tired of things quick. So. I, you know, I can pick and choose, like, maybe I'll smoke something a couple times in a row, but usually it's just something here, something there, something different. Um, I haven't smoked this at all this week, and I just had a hankering for it, so. I figured I'd go ahead and review it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not, for those that don't like the real grassy Virginias, this isn't real grassy at all. I mean, it's blended very, very well. Uh, this is one of the best blended tobaccos, K&K, &K, their blends, um, not that all their blends are magnificent or anything, but this is just a magnificent blend. It's just just enough sweetness to me. Everybody's palates are different. Just enough sweetness, just enough spice, you know, just enough floralness, a little bit of fruity uh, vibe there. It's not it's not a dark fruit. It's more of a light fruit. I should have clarified that. It's almost got like a like a star fruit kind of vibe to it, you know, that you can get sometimes on those brighter Virginias. But yeah, this is it's it's and it's it's mild, but it's very complex. If that makes any sense, um, it's not like a flavor bomb by any means, but it's got enough flavor to keep you interested in. And like right there on the retro hill, like I can feel the little tingle on my nose right now from retro hill in it. So it's definitely got some perique there in it. That's spicy. I'm um, like I said, it's not a real plummy perique. You get maybe a little plum vibe here and there, but. 
to me it's more of a it's not a black pepper one either it's more like white pepper a little bit of red pepper spice to it you feel it kind of in your nose a little bit and in the back back of your throat not necessarily like um black pepper where you feel it running the tip of your tongue but um but it all just blends really well together um i smoke this blend a lot i smoke it all the time to be honest with you and uh i haven't got sick of it yet so some blends kind of I've noticed over time you kind of grow in or out of them in love with them kind of you know in or out of love with them and this one is just it seems like to me i like it more and more all the time um i haven't had some real aged hell of the wind i think um my buddy john he's the one that turned me on to it to start with a lot of tobaccos like a lot of tobaccos because he got me into pipe smoking but um uh i don't know if i've really had any that's really really aged yet of this but let me know if you have, because I've I've only been able to age it for, I don't know, three or four, maybe five years at the most that I've had, the tobaccos that I've had. Um, but um, this one's fairly fresh, I think. This is from, yeah, this is from last year. So it's only got about a year and a half of age on it. And you know, it's it's fantastic, honestly. So. Hopefully it does well with age because I've cellared this deep and uh, unless I switch over to just smoking this exclusively, um, it'll last me a while with everything else. Um, I will say, one thing I will say, um, just to compare this to a Scudo for a little bit, there is a little bit of breadiness there to it, um, not in a Scudo level of breadiness or in a Scudo level of spice either, but it's definitely there. But like I said, it's got more of a, like I said, if for some reason I just keep thinking of honey, it's got like a honey, you know, maybe even graham crackery somewhat there. But it's not real graham crackery like some of the blends. It's like I said, I'm getting more of a honey vibe and like a milder star fruit type of thing with it with the spice and you know, like I said, the this the Kentucky is very, very minimal in this. Um you can probably even look and see in it. It's not a lot of dark in there. So it's not a lot of perique and but it's enough in there where it's burns very very cool very very smooth um so i'd say as far as the spice level maybe uh three sweetness is probably a four or five um strength i don't get a lot of strength out of this personally which is a good thing for me um i'd say it's probably like a 10 being the most i'd say probably three and a half something like that out of 10 it's a little bit there but it ain't ain't much there's definitely to me it's not medium but that's just my opinion some people might get a kick out of it more than i do but um it's weird how everybody's you know strength and what do you call it what's the word i'm looking for uh, tolerances are different you know everybody's tongues are different too but um Yeah, but I'm curious to know from you guys that have had this a while, how it ages. Uh, just curious, you know, but either way, this is probably one of those ones where whenever I see it, I'll probably buy a 10 or two of it, you know, because it's just that good, to be honest with you. And I can, I can blow through a 10 of this in no time. This is like one of those ones that's kind of like Scottish cake or Scottish flake to me. If I open a 10, I, the only reason I put this in this mason jar is because this is 100 gram. <laughs> but normally, if I open it up, I just leave it in the 10 and just smoke right out of the 10 because I know it ain't going to last that long. By the time it's kneaded and jarred up, it'll be smoked, so it's all good. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick review on this since I haven't done it before, and let me know your thoughts on it if you've had it.